There are one more point about wrapping conifers, because that's mm-hmm. I see people doing that uh, in every neighborhood I've ever lived. They, they wrap <laughs> their cedars or whatever, right? Uh, yeah. So you say they shouldn't. So why is that the case? Well, we we have to start with which plants did you plant. Okay. If you plant things that are not hardy in your area, then you may benefit by wrapping them. But my advice is not to do that because we have lots of choices. So you might as well pick something that actually lives in in your zone, right? I mean, there are people who grow bananas in zone five and they wrap all kinds of things and cover them up and then go through all kinds of gyrations to survive them. Um, So we're not talking about those things. We're talking about plants that are hardy in, in your area. So we have to ask the question, why are we wrapping them? Mm -hmm. And the reason most people wrap them is to keep them warm. And so they put burlap around them thinking that they're keeping this plant warm. That doesn't work. And I've actually gone out and tested it. You can get a thermometer, stick it inside the wrap plant and outside the wrap plant and temperature is exactly the same. Okay, Wrapping Mm -hmm. with burlap will not keep that tree warm. Now, if you wrap with plastic, it can be warmer inside on a sunny day, but that's actually harmful for these trees. So never wrap in plastic. Okay. But wrapping does not keep a plant warmer. So if you have a conifer that's a zone six conifer and you're in zone five and you think, well, it's it's almost hardy, so I'll just wrap it in burlap to make it survive, that's not going to work. But there are some good reasons for wrapping. Uh, one is uh, deer. So deer will tend to leave the plant alone if it's got burlap around it. Right? And I used to wrap my U out front of the house because in the winter, deer would come there and chew on it. And, and if I wrapped it, they wouldn't. So that's valid. The, the burlap will also keep wind off. Right. And wind desiccates the plant. Remember, these are conifers. So they have they're green all year. And conifers are metabolizing all winter long. So even when it's cold out, they're still capturing a bit of sun and they're still doing their leafy thing and they're still making some food. It just at a much lower rate. Right. It also means that they're losing moisture. And right. a wind, a strong wind, m- removes moisture from these conifers. And if they lose too much moisture, they can get brown tips. Right. So sometimes you you put burlap in there just to slow down the wind. But when you do that, you shouldn't wrap the plant. You actually put a, a screen in front of it, a two-sided screen, just to stop the wind. You're not trying to wrap around the, the conifer. I see what you mean. So you just put a windbreak. That's the idea. Yeah. And I guess with uh, that, you know, by doing it that way as well, by not wrapping it like a mummy, uh, you would allow the sun to actually get at the needles right and that's, would... that's right yeah right. now the other thing that does happen with some conifers the like the upright junipers they have these side branches that are very weak and so if you're an area that tends to get ice storms the ice will build up on them and bend the branches down so far that they never come back again mm, right? right but the best way to handle those is is not to grow them <laughs> but if you happen <laughs> to have them then all it requires is a string so you just wrap a string six, eight inches apart just to hold the branches up so that the ice can't lay them down. Right, right, right. Um, but sense. again, you, wrapping them doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's the, the best thing to do is pick plants that are hardy, put them in your garden. If, if it's a conifer and you want to wrap it the first year because it doesn't have a good root system yet and can't get enough moisture, that's okay. Second year, don't wrap things. Right, if, okay. if they don't survive, then you planted the wrong thing. Right. So the tree stores sugars and other chemical compounds mm-hmm. you know, in its foliage, in its stem. Um, and But it dehydrates itself. And you alluded to this earlier. And all of this allows the tree to kind of have an antifreeze effect uh, yeah. on the on the above ground foliage. So it can take. Can you talk about that a little bit about this whole surviving the winter thing? Sure. Uh, you, you, you have to take a class in chemistry to understand this. Right. But it kind of works like this. So when we have a solution with chemicals in it, um, that solution generally freezes at a lower temperature than just water alone. Okay, so if I take water and make an ice cube out of it, it freezes at the freezing point. 
But if I put some sugar in that water, it won't freeze. Okay? Uh, you might know that if you take alcohol and put it in a freezer, it doesn't usually freeze either. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, a, like an alcoholic drink. And so an alcoholic drink is mostly water, but it has some alcohol in there. So all these chemicals lower the freezing point of water. And the cells in the plant, they're full of things. Uh, a lot of sugars, lots of like hundreds and thousands of other chemicals. And what it does is it takes some of the water out. And when you take some of the water out, but leave all the, the other chemicals there, the concentration goes up. So it, it basically makes you know, better and better antifreeze yes. as it's taking water out yes so now we have these cells in the tree that don't freeze even though it gets very cold right so the tree is essentially making its own antifreeze and that's yes. how it survives the winter yes that also kind of explains why we have some trees that grow fine in zone five and some you know grow in zone three and others only grow in zone seven the hardiness of those trees depends on how good it is at making antifreeze. I see. Yeah, okay, yeah, the yeah. trees that are only hardy in, Cal in the Carolinas, well, they're not very good at it because they don't have to be. It never gets really cold there. Yes. You know, zone five, they have to be much better. And in zone three, they have to be even better. Right? Yes. Uh, it also explains the difference in cultivars. Why, for instance, we have red buds and we have red buds that grow fine here in zone five. But if we go down and get a red bud from the Carolinas and bring it up here, it probably will die because it's used to growing in a warmer climate. Right, right, right. Hey, folks, if you live in the USA and want to help support the channel, check out the Hudson Valley Seed Company and use my coupon code MARITIME10 to get a 10% discount on whatever you buy. In addition, all seed orders over $35 will get free shipping. They have a great selection of seeds, so maybe give that a try this year and that'll help support everything I'm doing here. Thanks a lot.